You want to read it to me? Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Was I ever that young? I guess I was. Sure as hell never got my hands on a story like this. This is really dangerous stuff, Bobby. I hope you know where you're going with this. I hope so, too. Yeah. Now, let me finish reading it. Standing zone. Just wait to miss it. All right, forget it. Just a couple of minutes, though, okay? It's not bad, Bobby. Not bad? Not bad. But you've got to be very careful with this sort of thing. It's true, every word of it. Look, you've just got one source, and you won't name them. Now, that's not considered proof on any paper I ever worked for. Listen. You want to be a journalist? Then you've got to take responsibility. Art Bruckner is a very prominent man. He gives money to charity. He's a very big political contributor. Now, if what you're saying is true, he steals millions of dollars a year. That's the point. You know damn well it doesn't stop there. Then prove it! Sure. We'll sit around until we can prove everything. You might as well not have investigative reporters. Let somebody else do it and, and send somebody down to cover the trial. If he ever comes to trial, which he won't, that's how guys like Bruckner get away with it. Look, it's a good start, but it's just a start. It's not a story till you nail down your facts. Thanks. You work at your trade for a gang of years and you get a certain reputation. Maybe you even deserve it. Then a bright kid comes along with enthusiasm like you've never seen before, and he reminds you of a lot of things. Not the kid you were, but the kid you wanted to be. I can't remember the make. I mean, he didn't even try to avoid him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean? That's all? You just got to drop it like that? I think he must have been drunk. He was drunk. I, 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 he was going like a bat out of hell. Somebody must have seen him. Yes, sir. We'll follow it up. If anyone got well, I hope the hell you do follow it up, because that was murder. That's what that was. Take it easy, Tommy. They'll be looking into it. Give me a copy of those reports as soon as you can, all right? Sure thing. Thanks for coming. Seems 24. All right, all right. There's nothing we can do here. Let's go upstairs.
every time you write something, you expect it to be perfect. Then some jerk comes along and tells you it still isn't right. You? He trusted me. I was his mentor. Take it easy. You weren't driving the car. He's a cub reporter. He's working on an expose in the construction industry. You were helping him with it. That was the idea. He's pretty upset when he left. He didn't even look up. I don't even think he saw the car. What do you even keep this here for? Remember me not to take a drink. I gotta go see his wife. Are you gonna be all right? Am I gonna be all right? He had a six-month-old baby, for God's sake. He said it was murder. What about that? Guy drives that fast, you don't call that murder? Oh, my God, Tom. She wasn't even wet. She won't even remember him. This last month, he was hardly home. Was it worth dying for, Tom? It was an accident. Two o'clock in the morning. Why wasn't he home? Why wasn't he in bed? You know how much he loved you. How excited he was about the baby. But this was his job. You know how much it meant to him. He's <laughs> big He was never going to write up another one of these suburban stories again. What do I do with this, Tom? This is what he left us. What do I do with them? You creep! You miserable wimp! Not in public, Claudia. Oh, shut up. He can't even use a plunger. Husband and wife? Husband and husband. Here's a stolen vehicle files you wanted, Tim. On my desk, Freddy, thanks. You really gonna run with this thing? Uh huh. The uniform will handle it. And Tommy's pretty upset. I thought I ought to do a couple things for him. Try riding in a hot car? Looks like it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye bye. So have you heard about this new cop of the month thing, huh? Uh, every precinct is going to put up a candidate. Lieutenant's going to make the nomination. So, uh, what do you think my chances are? I got shot at. Yeah, but the guy missed. Maybe you could be target of the month, Freddy. I am misunderstood and undervalued. Yeah. Oh. You ready? Yeah. If you like, I'll take you to your mother's afterwards. I think I'd rather come home. going to help. Help 
me here, Jess. Love, mercy, and peace from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, my God. Oh, God. It's an animal. The punks. You know, they read about a funeral in the paper and they break in. Happens all the time, Susan. Oh, coincidences since when did you believe in those? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I just thought I'd take Carrie and well, get out of here. Let's hear about it. Oh, he was a kid, right? He was working on a really important story. All right. He was just a kid. All right, for if we want to talk about it, let's go somewhere and talk about it. Talk about it. You think someone killed him, don't you? Let's just not get upset about things we no, don't... for heaven's sake, Kevin. Kevin. Calm down. Calm down. We're too damn calm. Don't you know what we're talking about here? Half a million dollars. That was just one sight. Who knows how much more money is involved? People kill for a lot less, don't they? Now, wait a minute. Did Bobby know about all this? Yes. Well, did he keep notes and files? Of course. It's gone. The file's gone. Any particular way you want it? Cash money, baby. Sometimes you wonder if it's all worth it. Then you get your check and you know, not even close. Go to the bank. Oh, yeah? oh wait a minute. It's probably on my desk. Hang on, 60. Hurry up. It's going to close. What is this? The stolen vehicle reports you asked for. Well, let's get on with it. Come on. Dark vehicles, blue or green, where they were stolen, if they were found, any witnesses. What's this all about, Opie? It's that hit and run. If it wasn't joyriding, it was probably homicide. Either way, it's probably a stolen vehicle. I split them, you pick. You took all the interesting ones. This check is wrong. Did you read all this kid's stuff? Yeah, everything he'd written. Uh, what do you have? Art Bruckner. He's putting up a new city hospital. He's got 93 people on the payroll. At least 10 of them don't exist. You mean a kickback scheme? Mm-hmm. Shadows, that's what they call them, no-shows. It seems like just a little harmless cheating. That's 10,000 a week, and that's just at this one site. And he's got more contracts. Half a dozen all over the city. It's a guess only. But the same thing could be happening at all of them. It's a lot of money, if we can prove it. Bobby had a source who could prove it. He just wouldn't give me the name. Is that on the level? Yeah. He was just a kid. How careful was this kid? I hope to God he didn't leave that source's name in his files. There's no way. It's all been taken care of. I ditched the car. I don't want to know how you go about your business. All I want to know is that all the zippers are zipped and all the buttons are buttons. Yes, sir. Who else knew about this, about what the kid was doing? It's not even a regular reporter. I don't care what the hell he wanted. Mr. Rector, hello. I was just going. The uh, figures on the overtime are on your desk. Oh. I broke them down by department. Thank you, sir. Actually, I'm glad I caught you. Do you know Vern Garvey? No, I don't. Mr. Garvey? Well, Mr. Garvey's doing some security work for us. Have you noticed anything missing from the office lately? No, not that I know of. Any office supplies or books or records, anything like that? I don't think so. And you always lock the filing cabinet? Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. You sure you won't come in? Oh, no thanks, ma'am. You're gonna sit out here all night? I've got a book. I'm all right. Well, maybe you change your mind later. Uh, thanks for the coffee, ma'am. Okay. Any luck? No. Listen, did he talk to you about the story, or was there an expression he used to use? He talked about it. Nothing that could be a password. Yeah, what's this? Yale, 2006? Carrie. He said the story was going to put her through college. So 
Thanks. Tom, maybe you shouldn't do this. He locked it away in the computer. Maybe you should just let it stay there. They wanted those files. We've got to find out what's in them. Tom, just don't let anyone else get hurt. No, I was already there when the call went out. I was just two blocks away. You see anything? It's your sector, isn't it? Yes. What about earlier? Did you uh, notice anything unusual? A couple of summons. The car parked. The guy waiting for someone. What time? Before the accident. You notice the make, the model, anything? Do better than that. You want the plate? What is it? V77ZZ1. Yeah, let's right. go. Let's go. Michelle Parker. Yes. I, uh, I knew Bobby. I really need to talk to you. There's no one here. Why don't you come over to the office? No. Uh, you tell me uh, where, and I'll be there. Um, Adams and M9. There's a small diner here. So, why didn't you report it? Wasn't my car. Tell them whose car it was. Here's the report. Dude eating honey bananas. Finishes his dessert. He screams the holy hell when he gets out there. Yep, yeah, that's a car. Did you get a look at this man who stole the car? Big guy. Like him. Black? No. Would you recognize him if you saw him again? <laughs> Not if I can help it, man. So you did see him? What? You asked me in here. I saw him. You asked me in court. All you white dudes look alike. Mm-hmm. And I noticed it when the checks came back. They were all endorsed to be cashed and deposited to the exact same account. Whose account? Well, I don't know. All I saw was an account number. It was in the books? Can you get it for me? Mr. Bruckner was asking me about that tonight. If there were any records missing or did anyone have the key? I really didn't want to get involved in this, Mr. Kirkwood. I mean, that's why I called you. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. I have a friend as a detective. He could, uh... No. No police. But I can't do it myself. The police... Okay, 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 okay. All right, go to the police and, uh, and tell them what I've told you. But please don't give him my name. Well, Bobby trusted you, I guess I can. Tell them to uh, subpoena the checks and uh, subpoena the payroll records. It should all be there. They're going to need something for the search warrant, someone's word on it. If you... No, I... Mr. Kirkwood, you're going to think I'm crazy, but uh, I really think they killed Bobby. I don't think you're crazy. Well, then don't give them my name. I promise. Don't worry. You got my word on it. Address? Hey, to my cool. money. I got I got a fuck and a half to my name. He grabbed my purse. Address? Well, what's this? It's evidence. Get your hands off it. It's his money, lady. Where's Captain? They're on their way in. Hey, you wouldn't have a buck or two. I know where he's coming from. Down in a minute. Address? 245. Hey. Tom. We got a make on the car and a description of the guy that stole it. I gotta talk to you. Don't talk to me. I got the whole thing. What it was, how you can prove it. Frank, you get the lieutenant. We'll be in Elaine's office. Come on. Stevie, you cashed my check? Uh, yeah, she did. I don't need any more rhetoric. Just give me a good reason. Gave my word. Is that so damn hard to understand? There's already been a homicide. Yes, it is. No one is hiding anything. He was on a story. A story? This isn't Hemingway. He had evidence of a felony. Didn't give it to the police, and he's dead. That's why my source doesn't want to come forward. And you promised to protect him. Yes, I did. Now, how in the hell are you going to protect him? By keeping him out of it. He's in it. All right. All right, now keep it down, both of you. All right, Kevin, now what do you got? You got a witness who ID'd the guy that stole the car. You got a cop who placed him in front of the building 10 minutes before the accident. You go out, you get the guy, and you bring him in. And then what? If we don't have the car, we can't prove it was the one that hit Bobby. Why do you always tell me what I can't do? Why don't you tell me what I can do? It's a personality flaw. Look, 
I can't convict people. I can't even hold people unless I have evidence. It's giving you the evidence. The payroll records, the endorsements on the checks. How much do you want? Just subpoena them. Why don't we make cops go to law school? You need a reliable source, right? Mm-hmm. You're telling me he's not reliable? He is not the source. He won't tell us who the damn source is. Do you know what will happen? I will tell you what will happen. We will go to court, and the judge will hold William Randolph Kirkwood here in contempt until he tells us where he's getting all his information. There is freedom of the press in this country. A journalist does not have to disclose his sources. Oh, that's what the reporters say. It is not what the courts say. Fine, I'll go to jail. That solves everybody's problem. I just get these two stopped, and now these two start. Okay, Tommy, what's it gonna be? You gonna give me the name? Yes or no? I can't. Then we find another way. You are not doing him any favors. We find another way. Tell me what it's about. Never mind. Sorry. Third floor. Okay. Sorry. Organizer? It's your source, right? Now come and have a closer look. Kevin. You're right, huh? Your precious journalist's right. You wanted to protect them? Well, you protected them just fine. Look what they did for her. Damn it. He is your friend. Do you have to be that tough on him? I'm tired of seeing dead bodies lying around, Frank. This girl didn't have to die. And how do you think he's feeling right now? Give me the radio. Stevie? Yeah. Stay with him. Let me know wherever he goes. You mean Tom? Come on, Cover, let's go. Hi, Tom. Don't forget the game tomorrow night. There you go. Were you not working tonight? There's a dead woman. A pretty, honest, hard-working accountant who made the mistake of talking to a couple of journalists. You? I told her I'd protect her. By keeping her out of it, by not having the police come knocking at her door. Oh, Tom. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm sure you did what you thought was best. The boy is dead because I encouraged him to write a courageous story. A woman is dead because I told her I'd protect her. What the hell is that, a tough week? Keep going, it'll get better? I wish there was something I could say. Fortunes of war, huh? This isn't going to help. Uh, give me a scotch on the rocks, Sam. Um, just to clear my head a little. Come on, one drink won't make any difference. You're no better than that. It's a bar, isn't it? People come here and drink alcohol, don't they? What the hell's the matter with you? I want a scotch on the rocks. Very little ice. You don't need a drink, Tom. Don't need a drink? I want a drink. It's the same thing. In my case, you mean? I'm not giving you a drink. And you knew that before you walked in that door, so what are you doing here? Because I want you to stop me. Is that the answer? I think it's pretty close. That's a lot of crap. I'm looking for the wrong place. Tom! Tom! Tom, don't do this! It's not your problem, Nikki.
A little haze. A little calmness around the edges just to smooth out the rough spots. Two people trusted me. Damn it. Oh, how thoughtful. Someone to watch over me. Everyone's so damn thoughtful. All right, let's get serious here. What the hell are they talking about? I wrote three novels this way, never had any problems. Who are you kidding, Kirkwood? You wrote half of three novels. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. <laughs> Something ain't right here. Stevie! Stevie! My faithful Indian companion, Stevie. Who would I talk to if you weren't here? Why don't we take you home, Tom? Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be wonderful! If only I were going home. But I'm not. Sure you are. Wait, I... Are you the guys who've been following me? Because if you are, I find that arrogant and unnecessary. Tom, get him before they put you in. Come oh, on. No, 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 no. I don't do that. Kevin would do that, but not you. Kevin doesn't give a hoot in the hell about the law. <laughs> oh! Uh, look, hey, I'm going over and calling upon the widow of Bobby Taylor. Now, if you'd like to come, you're perfectly free to do so. Damn. I should have done it. Hi, is the lady of the house at home? Kind of late, Mr. Kirkwood. Oh, uh, it's been so late, Mr. Kirkwood. <laughs> I, I have an appointment. Uh, she's asleep now. Come on. Hey, God, I have an appointment. Now, Mr. Kirkwood, you knocked it off. I've got an appointment. Shut up, Mr. Kirkwood. in my life, you two just topped everything. I won't even ask for an explanation, because I don't want to hear it. Aren't they supposed to put up a sign if there's dogs? Maybe the dogs can't read. Two homicides pending, and, and my two best men, huh, best men, are turning themselves into a dog food commercial. A and your best friend, he's taking a swing at a cop, but he doesn't hit him because he's too drunk. I ought to throw the lot of you in there. And so help me, I will. If you ever pull anything like this again, I will personally pick up 
where those two dogs left off. We didn't exactly enjoy it ourselves, you know. Well, maybe there's some hope. If I see so much as a poodle, I'm pulling my gun. I'm taking a shower. Hey, is this a bad time to ask to get out of here? You were drunk and disorderly. I wasn't disorderly. Yeah, all right, come on out. What the hell are we doing here? I live here. I don't. Now you are for the next couple of days. Nikki? She ought to be here in a few minutes. Look, Kevin, I know we're good friends. This is very touching, but I don't want any part of it. We've been hanging out too long to play games. You know what I gotta do? Don't give me trouble. All I wanted was a drink. It's not a crime, you know? Tom, you got a disease. No speeches. I've heard most of them. I've given up. Come here. You are staying here, and I am staying here, and I'll handcuff you to the stove if I have to. And when I go to work, Colby is coming over, or Freddy is coming over, or somebody else, if I have to. I don't want any crap from you, and no bluffing. Now, listen to me, my friend. I've been through this with you before, and I know. So when you're clean, when you got it together, when you are back from the moon, then you're free to go. End of speech. What the hell those dogs do to you? I've never heard you put so many words together. Hi. What happened to you? Line of duty, just getting cleaned up. Well, Tom, looks like it's just you and me. I make you some coffee? Make conversation. Your friend stinks at it. Sure, that's fine for you. So far, you've been doing all the thinking, and it hasn't been solving any of my problems. We have the same problems, Vern. I took care of the kid. I took care of the girl. You're the one making the big bucks out of this. I don't want to talk about the girl. You waited until after she talked to the reporter. Now, what sense is that? How was I supposed to know who she was going to meet? Well, the question is, what are you going to do about it? What am I going to get? What do you want? 50-50. That kid could have put you away for the next 30 years. You're not being reasonable, Vern. Business operates on contracts. We have an understanding here. Yeah, maybe. But those cops are going to be back. Ain't enough dogs in the whole damn city to keep them away. They haven't got anything to fish for. Well, all I know is, I'm the one they're fishing for. And you're not paying me enough for that. Well, that's a decision that you're going to have to make. If you think you can improve the situation by confessing the two homicides, well, by all means, go ahead. Why don't you knit or something? Knit? You want me to knit? Well, I wouldn't feel like I'm wasting your time. <sighs> You're not wasting my time. I care about you, Tom. Yeah. We we'll never get over it, you know. Yeah. One drink and I'm no, sure. That's it's... not what I mean. Not taking a drink. That's the easy part. What kills you is the wanting it. Wanting what it does to you. Destroys you, Tom. That's what it does to you. That's what I mean. You people always think the alcoholic doesn't know what's going to happen next. That he just fools himself into believing that it's just one drink. This time it'll be different. If you know that, how can you take another drink? Because that's why we take it. It's not a side effect. It's not a consequence. It's the reason, annihilation. That's the answer that we have for failure and success. That's what we can't get over. Some people do. Some people manage to break the cycle. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. Oh. <sighs> Nerves like chicken wire, huh? Watch this. I heard it was coming all the way from the elevator. <laughs> Colby. How you doing, sugar? I wonder who won me tonight. No sweat, Thomas. We can bake a couple of cupcakes. Have a couple ladies over. Yeah, crochet bedspread. <laughs> Actually, I brought a couple of short stories I wrote. I thought maybe you could take a look at them. Did you bring a bottle? <laughs> Frank is in the car. How are you feeling? Tired. 
I'll give you a lift home? No, thanks. I got my bike. Well, I'm missing the last stage for Tombstone. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Mm. Oh, you want me to read these now? You bring a steak. As far as they're concerned, I am a steak. Hey, come and get your prime rib over here, folks. <laughs> Jambone. Something I can do for you, gentlemen? The young lady working for you, Michelle Parker. Ah, uh, yes, I heard. Is there anything I can do? Does the work she was doing of a sensitive nature, anything might put her in jeopardy? Well, we built buildings, detective. Nothing sensitive about that. And you haven't had any problems with security lately? Security problem. Come to think of it, someone may have tried to break in here last night. Why didn't you report it? Well, security's not my department. You'd have to speak to Mr. Garvey about that. Burn! Garvey's our head of security. I'm sure he can answer any questions you gentlemen may have. Hello, oh, Byrne. These gentlemen are detectives. They'd like to know why you didn't report the incident last night. Nothing to report. The patrol drives chased them. They didn't get anything. Mind showing me where it happened? Yeah. That's a nasty scratch you got in your neck there, officer. You gotta take care of something like that doesn't get infected. So they must have come in over the fence. We got out the same way. We found some garments. The dog's got a hold of right in there. Hi! This is to keep you waiting too long, I hope. Mind coming downtown with us, Mr. Garvey? Boy, that's a hell of a way to lose weight. Look, the way I look at it, some of us got some problems and some of us got others. And the kid, I got a weight problem, too. You're like a rock. I gotta be. If I don't work out more than three times a week, I just balloon up. <laughs> Balloon up. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Look, I gotta be sick again. Where are you going? I'm going to be sick. You wanna watch me? No, just leave the door open. A crack. I'm gonna see if there's a ball game on, all right? Man, you know, I tell you, nothing never ends, don't it? I mean, I can't tell if it's Christmas or the 4th of July. Look at this. Football. Baseball. Well, that's two out. Basketball. And hockey. Now, I see a black face skating on the ice, I watch hockey, and masks don't count. See, that's the thing, you know? A black guy got more sense than to get his teeth all knocked out like that. So how about a basketball game? You all right, Tom? That mean it doesn't mean anything. What, do I look like a jury? You was there just before the car ran over him. Doesn't mean you ran over him. Could have been anyone else that was there. Only there was no one else there, Garvey. If that's all you got, you got nothing. We know why the kid was killed. We got his notes. For what? Because you got him, right? I don't know what you're talking about. You think we just keep one copy of the notes? Is that what you think? Because that'd be dumb now, wouldn't it? What well, notes? I don't write people notes. All right, suit yourself. You want to take the rap for Bruckner? Fine with me. Clears it off the books either way. You're just fishing. You want to go fishing, get a boat. I want a lawyer. Is that the man you saw stealing the car? Hey, I, I told him I didn't want to get Is that up. him? Yeah, that's him. It's Colby. Tom got away from him. Oh, right. Let's go hot shot. Get a little chance to cool off now. Get in there. Don, you want to throw me the keys to the cell? Well, I mean, I'll be answering. Why don't you guys check out his apartment and keep in touch with us? Come on, Frank, let's go for a ride. Taylor? Who? I'm a little too old for glory, Mr. Bruckner. I'm not interested in scoops. I want to do business. And what kind of business are you in? Information retrieval. 
Well, I'm going to be here for a couple hours. Why don't you stop by? I'll be there. Uh, Mr. Kirkwood, you know how to close a sale. Come alone. Not a clue. Let's see if he was calling someone. Brockner Construction. Brockner. Come on, before I get something stupid. Tommy Mason, you realize he earned $8,754 in just four weeks of work? That was after a major surgery. And then it was Bill Levers. He earned $7,000. What do you want? He was a very diligent young man. Yes, he was. And this is the information you have for Sam? That's what I'm doing here. Well, there are photocopying machines, Mr. Kirkwood. How do I know there isn't another copy? Oh, I can assure you, there is. You'll just have to make me happy. I don't want you to run me over the way you did Bobby. Open your shirt, Mr. Kirkwood. You want a deal, or don't you? You talk too much, Kirkwood. Listen, a cop's a listen, you know. Nice try. I know the difference between a transmitter and a recorder. Go ahead. You think it'll solve your problem? Oh, I think it will. I'm betting that you and the boy are the only ones who do anything about this. If I'm wrong, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. They won't find you any more than they'll find the car that hit that kid. Oh, yeah. Well, they'll find me. They'll come looking for me, huh? Yeah? his story. I don't know how much that'll mean to his widow or the family of Michelle Parker who was killed because she told the truth. I know what it means to me. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Let's go. Come on. You all right? I'm not sure yet. You all right? I'm fine. Might have been better, you know, if you told me what you were doing. Oh, if I knew what I was doing, I wouldn't have done it. Are you ever going to leave that alone? I can stop for a long time, maybe for the rest of my life. But it'll always be there, you know. Tell me you can handle it. Bobby Taylor came to me because he thought I could teach him something. And he taught me. 
You fight for the truth. You win and you lose. And the wins don't make up for the losses. They never do. But they're all we get. And I feel the light.